Hi FlossTube! I'm going to try and keep this quick because um, today's not been a great day for me and all I want to do is go to bed. So um, it's going to be a quick one. I have the winners to draw for the giveaway. I promised you it would be today and it will be today because I don't know when else it will be. Um, so we're going to see who won my prizes for my 500 subscriber giveaway. And then I also thought I'd go ahead and show you, um, give you a whipped up whip update while I'm at it. Um, shouldn't be very long. Um, we can go ahead and get started with the giveaway results. Um, we'll do each prize one at a time. I have my computer down here. I'm on random.org. Hopefully you'll believe me because um, I don't really have a good way of showing you uh, the results. So the first prize was this um, little bird that will be customized to the winner's uh, favorite colors and favorite flowers. Um, and for the bird, there were 37 entries. So I'm typing in minimum one, maximum 37. And the winner is number 35, who is Ravens, Ravenshad? Ravenshad? I don't know what that S is, um, but congratulations. You have won the little bird that's kind of perfect because you have Raven in your username. Um, so yeah, I will get to work on this. Unfortunately, um, I didn't realize at the time I made this giveaway, but I'm pretty swamped with a lot of things in life right now. Um, but you will get this little baby eventually if you want to private message me on YouTube with your information. That'd be great. So that when he is done, I can send him out to you. You got the bird. Congratulations. Ugh, I'm not giving you the bird. I'm giving you a bird. I wouldn't do that. Okay, on to the next prize. The next prize is the, um, whoop, hold on. The next prize is the little uh, turtle pin cushion. And there were 37 entries in that one, too, um, with which Raven Shad was not included in that one, so I don't have to worry about taking them out. Here is the turtle pin cushion. So let's find out the winner. Minimum is 1, max is 37, and the result is number 10. Number 10 is... Melanie Ward! So, Melanie Ward... Send me your information, and you get to take home, or you get to, he'll come in the mail to you. You're not coming to take him home, I'm sending to you. But you get this little turtle pin cushion. Congratulations. I really hope you enjoy him. He was really fun to make, and uh, I think he's pretty special. Um, and then the last prize was the, I'm missing a leg here, but I will find it before I send it to you, don't worry. Um, the last prize is the turtle kit to make your own turtle pin cushion. There's pieces right here. And the person who got the turtle, I'm gonna remove Melanie from here. One second. Okay, um, the person who wins, or there's 29 entries now for the turtle kit. Um, so the person who wins the turtle kit is number four, who is Chloe Crawford. So that means, Chloe, you get to message me your information. Um, if you'd like to include in your message for every, well, not for the turtle pin cushion, but for the kit and the bird, if you want to include your requested customizations, you're welcome to, but I do have all the comments so I can backtrack and find them. Um, congratulations to the winners. That's Raven Shad, Melanie Ward, and Chloe Crawford. Congrats. Email your information to me. If you want to email it, you can email it. Um, my email is bchurch2007 at yahoo.com, or you can just uh, message me on YouTube, and I should be able to get it there. So congratulations to all of you winners, and thank you so much to all of you subscribers and commenters. It really brightens my day when I know that you guys like what I'm doing, and um, I'm just I'm really happy that I can uh, 
share with you guys. Uh, the turtle kit. I have some of these little birds in my Etsy store right now. The turtle kit is something I'm looking to, into the logistics of selling. Um, I probably wouldn't sell pre-made ones just because, as you all know, stitching takes forever and it would end up being fairly expensive, I'm sure, because of the work I would put into it. But um, I'm thinking about doing the kits. So if that ever comes to fruition, I'll announce it on one of my last two videos and I'll let you know. Um, and I'll go ahead and go into whip updates really quickly. I don't have too much. Um, like I said, I've been really busy and I haven't been able to do a whole lot. I went on vacation last weekend over Labor Day and um, decided I was going to start a new project. Um, a very small one. It's another Pokemon. This time it's a Pokemon called Zapdos. Um, and it's not done yet. It still needs white. So all of the white space in the actual Pokemon need to be filled in. But it shouldn't take too much longer. Um, one of my friends who I made the Dragonite for got married and her husband saw it and said he, he kind of wanted one. So I said, well, which one would you like? And he picked Zapdos. So that's almost done. Um, I got a little progress done on my John Deere pattern. That's my John Deere pattern. Not too much, but there's where I'm at now. So I'm working on the border of that center motif. Um, this is going to be my new to go project because some exciting news. I got the, um, I remember the last video I made, I, um, said that I had a promising job interview, an exciting job interview coming up, and I got the job. So that's exciting. It is, um, I'm going to be an instructor at a paint and sip place. So for those of you that don't know what that is, it's where you go and, um, everyone paints the same painting and you have an instructor who shows you step by step how to do it. This is a painting that I made at a similar place, not the place I'm working though. Um, but for example, they had us trace out all of the important parts um, and then had to start with a yellow background and then we dabbed in red and then we dabbed in blue and green and then we painted the buildings and added all the finishing touches on the boat and the bridge over here. I put a dragon in because I can't just do every and I can't just do, do it normal. No way. So mine has a dragon, but that's an example of a kind of piece that you would make at one of these paint and sit places. So I'm really excited because that means I get to kind of do a crafty thing and get paid. Woo! Um, I am only an amateur artist. I'm only an amateur painter. I don't have any formal training, so I'm a little nervous that everyone else will kind of be ahead of me on techniques and stuff, but I'm a quick learner and I'm really excited to learn more about painting. I start training on Tuesday, so... That'll be cool. Um, I have one new start besides the Zapdos. Um, I decided I was going to spoil myself. And this was kind of spurred on by a really, really nice, lovely lady in Canada who sent me something that I needed to start this project. As you all know, I um, just added to my stash recently the Sing a Sampler series from Silver Creek Samplers. I don't have them all out, but it's You've seen them a lot at this point. It's the Doe, a Deer, a Female Deer song from Sound of Music. Um, and I had mentioned that I didn't know when I was going to start it because I need to figure out fabric because you need a pretty big piece to get them all in a line. And a really, really, really lovely lady sent me some fabric that she had left over from when she did it. And, um... It was, I wasn't having a bad day last night, uh, but I'm kind of glad that I have this to go to right now, um, if I do wake up from going to bed. So, I started this actually last night, but I didn't finish it. So here's, here's the start. It's just the border on that first, um, square there on doe a deer, a female deer. Um... I have a few of the uh, required threads, according to, you know, the, the Gentle Art Sampler threads. Um, 
but a lot of them I'm substituting some weeks and gassed that I have had in my stash from the wedding gifts I did earlier today. So I'm going to kind of mess around and um, Dee Stitcher has a really great video right now of her going over her entire project that she made and some suggestions for DMC alternatives for the thread colors and so um, which is so super helpful and she's also giving away her uh, copy of the patterns. I hope it's okay for me to say that. Um, I just, I just want to, you know, just Flosstube is such a generous community and that is an example of how awesome it is that we all want to share the love and we all want to share what we are fortunate to have to give to others. Um, So that's my new start. Um, I did have a finish. Part of the reason I justified that new start was because I, um, I finished my honey bear. I know, oh no. Ooh, I know a lot of people were, oh, that's not gonna help. I'm sorry, you're seeing a reflection of me on the Kindle in the frame of this. Um, I'm gonna take it out so you can see it. It's a really awful frame job anyway. Um, my cardboard was too big or too small, so it doesn't fit in the frame. I'm gonna have to reframe it anyway. So I might as well take it out now. Um, sorry for the delay. Okay, here is Honey Bear. I think it turned out really cute. And um, the pattern is now up in my Etsy store for all of you who are interested in stitching it. Um, my Etsy store is called Ingleside Imaginarium. That's I-N-G-L-E-S-I-D-E, -E, Ingleside Imaginarium, I-M-A-G-I-N-A-R-I-U-M, -I -I Ingleside Imaginarium. Um, that is up along with my hot sauce, or my hot stuff pattern, which this is kind of the sequel to or the second in a series of. Um, I'm really not looking forward to having to do this kind of thing again on it, but I'll do it so it looks nice. So I can put it on my wall next to my hot stuff in the kitchen. Um, you don't, I have some new fabric stash that I shouldn't have bought, but I did. And I'm feeling a little better about it now that I actually have a job. Um, but it's not near me and I don't really feel like pulling it out, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but I'll show it to you next time. And I think that's it. Um, I hope all of you are having a better day than I am. Um, and congratulations again to the winners. And have a wonderful day and a wonderful stitchy week. Or however long it is until I see you again. We'll see. September's going to be really busy for me. Um, I guess just really quickly I can tell you I uh, was contacted to do costumes for a pro an elementary school production of Where the Wild Things Are. So if you've been wondering what these things in the background are right here. They are masks for my wild things. Um, I have two more over here. So I've been busy making these. Um, and I guess I'll show them off. You can leave if, you, if you're not interested, that's fine. <laughs> um, so for example, um, they're just a half mask, and I've sculpted and added noses and horns, and then it's just got a fur hood on it. And all you need to do is get a little bit of makeup here on the mouth to make a big smile and sharp teeth, and you're good to go. So that's one. Here, I'll get a little closer. That's one. Here's the second one. That's the second one there. I like him a lot. He has a lot of work because he had ears, horns, and a nose. Um, 
Here's the third one. I never realized how many of the wild things looked like um, old men with big noses, but uh, a couple of them do. So he's got a really big nose. <laughs> and then I think, I don't know, I like this one and the bull one, but this one might be my favorite. How can you resist feathers? This makes me want to do the cockatoo head bob thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have to make ten of these, so I have four down, I need six more, and I'm also making Max's wolf suit, so I, um, have to make the pattern and sew that together, too. Um, it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's fun. Um, I'm actually very impressed with these. I, this is gonna sound so vain and so conceited and awful, but I come up with ideas sometimes and I don't think they're going to come out as well as they do, I guess. Because um, all of these are made from scratch. I came up with the design and ideas for all of them, and I just think they're pretty cool. Um, so that's what I've been up to. That's why I've been so busy and uh, relatively quiet on the floss tube and cross-stitch front. Um, thanks again for all your watches. Thanks again for um, the comments and just your sweet, kind words. It's like on days like these, you really appreciate it, you know. So thanks, Lost Tube. I could wait to do a video when I'm in a better emotional state, but I figure you see me at my happiest, and you can see me in the other emotional states as well. <laughs> um, and we can all support each other, whether we're feeling joyous or or disappointed, or frustrated, or angry, or any combination of those. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to end it on a happy note. Congratulations to all the winners. Thanks for all of the love you guys give me, and the support, and the lovely comments, and subscriptions, and after my vacation last week, and because I have been so busy, um, I'm rather behind on floss tube. I'm adding all new videos to my watch later list, and um, Guess who's here with me? Daenerys! That's my pretty kitty, Danny. Um, anyway... And I'm kind of going back through my subscription list, finding videos I haven't watched, and watching them kind of alphabetically. So if I have not commented on your videos in a long time, don't worry, I'm going to get there. Um, example, Katie, I think I am three videos behind for you with your newest one today. Which I'm kind of okay with because when time comes and I get to binge them all, I'm gonna have fun. Um, but you are keeping me company while I make the masks and uh, the little bit of stitching I'm getting in. Um, where are you going? You can't fit up there. When this AC unit is out, she can sit up in the window ledge. So I don't know if that's what she's thinking she wants to do or if there's something crawling around in there. Who knows? Danny, do you want to say hi real quick? Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's my kitty. I just want to cuddle her. So, um, thanks again, everyone, from me and Danny to you. Have a great week. I'm actually finishing this this time. And, uh, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.